चैप्टर 59 Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue hath muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They catch cockroach eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. their webs shall not become garments neither shall they cover themselves with their works their works are works of iniquity and the act of violence is in their hands their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity wasting and destruction are in their paths the way of peace they know not and there is no judgment in their goings they have made them crooked paths whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace therefore is judgment far from us neither doth justice overtake us we wait for light but behold obscurity for brightness but we walk in darkness we grope for the wall like the blind and we grow as if we had no eyes we stumble at noon day as in the night we are in desolate places as dead men we roar all like beards and moan sore like doves we look for judgment but there is none for salvation but it is far off from us for our transgressions are multiplied before the and our sins testify against us for our transgressions are with us and as for our iniquities we know them in transgressing and lying against the lord and departing away from our god speaking oppression and revolt conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood and judgment is turned away backward and justice standeth afar off for truth is fallen in the street and equity cannot enter ya truth faileth and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey and the lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no judgment and he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor therefore his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness is sustained him for he put on righteousness as a breastplate and an helmet of salvation upon his head and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak according to their deeds accordingly he will repay for it to his adversaries recompense to his enemies to the islands he will repay recompense so shall they fear the name of the lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard against him and the redeemer shall come to zion and unto them that turn from transgression in jacob saith the lord as for me this is my covenant with them saith the lord my spirit that is upon thee and my words which i have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth nor out of the mouth of thy seed nor 
out of the mouth of thy seeds seed saith the lord from henceforth and forever